Rikatoshi Kabrahadosh Kalabasumbrahida. I see myself the year 2023. And I go straight from 2023, the Lord began to bring me back. 23, 22, which is next year. And from now to 2023, the Lord began to open my eyes that prayer needs to be said, especially for those in politics. <laughs> when I speak like this, some people say, oh, this, that, 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 that. People in politics. Because in the realm of the spirit, I am seeing people in the politics. I'm seeing a lot of persecution. Persecution. The politicians, especially the top politicians, especially from the south. Persecution in the way that I began to see this persecution become a persecution that is as if they everywhere want to swallow people for nothing. That began to ask a question, the realm of the spirit. I said, what is this persecution all about? And the eyes of the Lord opened and connected with my eyes and say, look at what is called persecution for politicians. I don't know why these persecutions begin to come. Persecution of things in the past. Persecution of things that has been already forgotten. Persecution of things that people never know that it's going to be. And this persecution is a high persecution. Kukwe is just a victim of a honest mistake and a victim of circumstance. He was found not guilty from, I mean, of a count one to 37, which borders on money laundering, fraud, corruption, and misappropriation of the monies he took from the office of NSA. I don't want to say it much or in details or begin to digest everything, but I'm speaking as a prophet. Prayer needs to be said for the people. Because this persecution I begin to see in the realm of the spirit, the Lord began to ask me, say, this persecution is for what? I began to ask, what is this persecution for? And this persecution become a persecution for the nation. Persecution for the nation. And that's a major prophet of God. God is showing me this. I cannot just keep quiet without voicing it out. Because I voice out what the spirit has shown to me. So this is a persecution for the people and politicians. Prayer to be said for them. Let them go into prayer for this issue of this persecution. I don't know why this persecution, but God knows it all. God knows it all, and I begin to see people that have been declared free begin to go back to them and begin to bring back matters that have been settled in the realm of the spirit being rewinded back to be looked into matters that have been said okay oh free everything is over nothing to answer now it's becoming a matter that the files are opening and they begin to revisit files open and they're revisiting matters of politicians and they go to persecute them I don't know what is going, uh, going on on that matter, but God knows it all. Let the perfect will of God be done. This persecution, I pray that God will stretch forth his hands. Let the hand of the Lord prevail and let the will of God now begin to uh, take place. I don't know, but in the realm of the spirit, I see different files. Files of election that has come and gone opened. Files of money that has come and gone opened. Different files open, case upon case, case upon case, matter upon matter. And these are the things that keep all the politicians too busy and a lot of persecution. So prayer be said and let the hand of the Lord take over. If you are a politician, it is time that you begin to do things well and put things right because of the days ahead. The days ahead are very, very dangerous days ahead are not good one it's not good the prayer is needed to be able to you know a kind of look into all of this and whatever you know you are falling short 
quickly do something about it so that uh, the, 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 the persecution I've seen in the realm of the spirit can be somehow uh, properly uh, the kind of uh, uh, free and fair so the hand of Lord may prevail in every circumstances. Yesterday I was prophesying and the Lord opened my eyes and I began to prophesy in the area of disagreement. Disagreement. I see that the, 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 the power that is already in the not a state, not a part of the nation, being struggling about whether to come down to south or to remain there, it become something that is bringing a kind of an, in, a, a national a, 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 a disagreement and national torso. I begin to look at it and say, why is this torso? I was thinking that after this time, it's going to move down to the south. And they say that this thing is a very big matter and a very big issue that is going to be an issue that is going to be shaken until the, 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 the time we get closer, God will give us the proper picture of what is going to happen. God will tell us before the time. Now, in the realm of the spirit, the Lord said, I should tell all the people to, to begin to you know, love each other because the people must love each other and the people must be speaking with one voice and must speak the language of peace. Speak the language of peace and speak the language of to moving forward and peace. This is a word that the Spirit of God began to tell me to tell the people. People must be able to speak the language of truth. And uh, what I see in the realm of the Spirit when it comes to this, I see that, that the house of assembly shut down. House of assembly shut down whether it is senate or the house or upper house or lower house i don't know but i see the house house shut down i begin to ask why is the house shut down i don't know whether they are trying to mourn somebody or they are trying to do one thing or the other but this is a shutdown of the house and i begin to ask why is the house shut down and the message begin to drop and say it's shut down to fulfill some spiritual issues that is in the realm of the spirit because spiritually there are a lot of things that the lord god almighty want to help fix up so that things can be able to move forward to the glory of god that is why i see this house house uh, the, the, the national house shut down and closed not whether to for one day or for two days or for one month or whatever but i don't know but it's a kind of a, a close and a shut down that pertain the aspect of the house then the lord bring me back again and i begin to look again i begin to see another thing again i begin to ask myself i say several times god has shown me these revelations and when i drop it it begin to happen that way i see service chief again removed I don't know that particular person, but in the realm of the spirit, the Lord has shown it clear. Another savage ship removed again. Now we're going to ask, what is this all about and what is the problem and what is the reason? Is it that somebody is not capable or what is happening? The Lord say these are the things that will be happening so that the world will know that in the revelation, God shows us things that will be and they begin to happen and they come the way it is shown to be. The Lord said prayer needed for all the people, especially in the area of commodities going up. God is going to do a miracle and the will of God will prevail and help the people. The major reason for prayer is for the masses. The masses must be prayed for. The masses must have what is called a spiritual intercession that God is going to use to liberate and to help and to deliver and to take the people up. And I see in the realm of the spirit, I am seeing the people from the United Nations and United States also having a dialogue regarding what is going on in our world, especially in our African Nigeria. We're going to look at the international communities and look at the people, look at discussions going on. Discussion was going on from one place to another. It become much discussions. And the Lord said, prayer must be said for the will of God to be done. And there's some of the people that are already crying and praying and saying, oh God, heal me, deliver me, set me free, blah, blah, blah. All the things we are praying, God is already hearing the prayer. Uh, something new must happen to the glory of God. Once again, I am seeing something that I've never seen before. I don't know whether this thing is something that want to happen this year or when. I'm seeing where the, the, the day now have what is called an eclipse of the moon or eclipse of the sun. I don't know which one want to happen, but I see like a dark, dark moment in the day. 
and that dark moment now stayed for some time, little time, and finally disappeared again. I don't know where is what to happen, whether in the north or here, but God said victory will be the people of God. A lot of signs will be coming in the sky. People in the Western world, people in Africa, people in different countries, I see in the realm of the Spirit where a lot of signs will be taking place in the sky. That begin to look at the signs in the sky, I begin to ask myself a question, is this sky a sign or what is happening in the sky? Is it a spiritual matter or what? Or is it a, what is called adventure or people trying to do something? And the Lord said, these signs are also part of the end time because a lot of signs will happen in the sky. A lot of signs. There will be a lot of designs of things that will be seen in the sky. I see things showing in the sky like a design. And prayer needed. And the prayer needed. Now, another thing is the area of, uh, of, of, of the, the government and the website. The website federal website and state website the local government website and also banking and finance website and also other website and other site and other uh, 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 internet or whatever that has to do with the, 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 the state the, 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 the country and other places in this place i begin to see where the lot of things have been hacked especially website hacked hacked to bring it national crime and people begin to cry and say, oh, yeah, so so thing has been hacked to website, hacked, and so many things hacked. I don't know why, but the Lord said the prayer must be needed because in the realm of the spirit, this website hack and so many other things that's going to be hacking is going to cause a lot of things because in the realm of the spirit, I see the people that are hacking this. People hacking this are people that want to go and find out vital information. I don't know them in the realm of the physical, but the spiritual, uh, the Lord is showing me the faces of people that are hacking this. People that are already on the system, working on this, and they are already at the verge of conclusion. And the reason why the message is coming is for people in power and people in authority to see how they can do the right thing. Because I see we are, we are so many uh, outside are uh, hacked and are hijacked and are beginning to ask why. And the Lord say this is a sign of a lot of things that are not going well. Now, the networks in Nigeria, especially the networks like MTN, uh, other networks, I don't know why one, two, three, I don't know what's going on, but I'm seeing where a network name has been changed. Network name changed. Changed from what people know it to be and changed into something else. A network name change. And this change is all about uh, people trying to buy over or people trying to sell off. People trying to sell off. And then another people try to buy over and I see the name of the network change. Then another thing is the issue of people and the BVN and the people of their uh, uh, name number or whatever number that has to do with your bank. The Lord said people must always cover the numbers of their of the BVN with the blood of Jesus because a uh, number of BVN now becomes something somebody can use outside the country to use it now to do something that affects people's account here. Pray about that issue and pray very well and cover your BVN with the blood of Jesus Christ. And declare the hand of the Lord to take over the hand of the Lord to protect your BVN. Now also, I would also pray for people in the U.S. and pray that God should also stretch his hand towards the United States of America and preserve the people and keep the people and uh, take away what is called a, a, a kind of hatred or things that now begin to cause what is called division. God should take it away and help the country and deliver the country from every satanic plan. You see, prayer works and prayer is the key. Whenever we begin to pray in the realm of the spirit, God begins to help us and deliver us and give us a victory. Victory over the enemies and victory over forces of darkness. And before we know it, God begins to take us higher, higher, beyond our limitations or beyond every level in life. I see people uh, in the realm of the spirit, we need to pray. I see something that is also in the national paper. 
national paper. I don't know this national paper, whether it is something that's going to happen in a few days, but in the realm of the spirit, pray for the little kids. As a little kids, when I say little kids, I'm talking about uh, the female little kids that are in school, especially in the northern state. I see where they are taking some people and some of these kids already taken in the bush and they got it pregnant, especially children that is less than less than 12 less than 12 less than 12 god should step in and deliver his people god step in and prevent every darkness and prevent every negativity that the enemy is going about with and let victory be given let there be protection let there be deliverance let there be peace let there be joy and let there be happiness that the hand of the lord may prevail in every ramification